Great, Mayor. I, I do appreciate the time. Uh, you know, obviously, we're only a couple of days away. Uh, we are over in northeast Pennsylvania, right outside Scranton in Wilkes-Barre. And Pennsylvania seems to be a lot of eyes on this state. There are always a lot of eyes on Pennsylvania. But it seems like Pennsylvania carries a little extra weight this time around as a state that the president won by only 44,000 votes in 2016. Yes. That President Obama won in 2012. Do you think, do you see that Pennsylvania carries a little bit extra weight than it has in elections past? Absolutely. Pennsylvania could well be the tipping point state in this election. And uh, it's so important for voters here to know that, uh, you know, this could come down to a few votes per precinct. Uh, we've been thrilled with uh, uh, some of the numbers on people motivated to get out early. But, uh, you know, good poll numbers don't count for much unless everybody votes. And that's going to be our push all the way through Tuesday. You know, looking at some of the polls, obviously, former Vice President Biden is leading in, in pretty much every Pennsylvania poll. How do you see this thing shaking out? It seems like in the bigger cities, Vice President Biden will do well. In the rural areas, President Trump has a, a big backing here. How do you see this shaking out, especially with a lot of mail-in votes? We might not know for a few days how this shakes out, and there might be a big blue shift as the mail-in votes are getting counted Wednesday, Thursday, and so on. Well, we, we know that, uh, uh, you know, the Trump campaign has adopted a strategy of trying to make it harder for people to vote or for votes to be counted. We want everyone to vote because we think if everyone votes, we'll win. And not just in the cities where it's so important uh, uh, for us to make sure we turn out to vote, but I've been struck by how many suburban areas and even rural areas, you see a lot of folks who usually vote Republican, but not this time uh, because of the way the president has talked about uh, uh, soldiers, because of the way he's talked about Christians behind closed doors, uh, uh, just the way he's acted has really insulted conservative and progressive values alike. And that's why uh, I'm so thrilled about the response in terms of the coalition coming together behind Joe Biden. You got diehard Democrats, but you got independents and a remarkable number of people who normally go Republican, but understand that this time is different. Obviously, all the eyes on the presidential election. There are a lot of very important local elections as well. And obviously, mayor for eight years in, in South and Indiana. How important is it for the voters that are going to see this tonight to make sure they vote in the local elections, state reps, state senators, congressional races, mayoral races, how important uh, is that for the voters too? Look, you, you can't treat the presidency like like the only office that matters, especially at a time like this. You know, in the era of the pandemic, we're seeing how much state uh, and even county and, and local leaders have been making life or death decisions with life or death difference in terms of who's in those jobs. So it's absolutely important. Of course, the presidency is important, but in our American system, so much of the power lies in the state and local level, rightly so. And it's important to uh, get informed, learn more about the candidates. Uh, <clears throat> and, and yeah, I'd hate for people to just mark one office and, and walk out when there's so much in the line uh, in, these, in these state races, too. The president has four events, four rallies in Pennsylvania just today. And we know there's going to be a lot of people there. We know it's crowded. Some of the people will show up not wearing masks, and Vice President Biden today sent us a statement saying that it risks people's lives and, and it's ridiculous. Your thoughts on the president coming to Pennsylvania today and having four separate individual events now is a lot of people. Yeah, look, I'm a big fan of campaigning uh, in person, but it's gotta be safe. And the president, he just doesn't seem to care. There was an independent study that just came out overnight that suggests something on the order of 700 people have died as a consequence of these uh, irresponsibly organized rallies that the president has had. And the, the biggest thing to me is it shows what he thinks of his own supporters. Uh, he's happy to use them for, uh, for votes or, or for attention, but doesn't actually care to take care of them. And there's no more dramatic symbol of that than hosting events, inviting people to come where people get sick and some of them even lose their lives. You campaigned in Pennsylvania. What do you think matters to Pennsylvania voters? They roll their sleeves, they work hard, they care about jobs, manufacturing, things like that. People are going to watch this tonight and see our conversation. What do you think Pennsylvania voters care about that they're going to go to the polls and say, leaning towards one of these candidates? Well, people definitely have the economy on their mind, and, and that's why we've uh, uh, got to make sure that we change course. This, this president's on track to be the worst jobs president since Hoover, largely because of the pandemic, which is also, of course, on our minds. And it doesn't have to be this bad. It wouldn't be this bad if we had better leadership. So I think voters are thinking about the economy, thinking about the pandemic, thinking about health care, especially if you or a loved one have any kind of pre-existing condition, and they're trying to take away that pre-existing condition coverage. But I think there's something that cuts through all of that, too, and that's just the desire to move beyond this chaos, to move beyond the exhaustion, and just have a president whose instinct is to bring us together, especially when we don't agree on everything. And that's the kind of president we'll have with Joe Biden. I know we only have a couple of minutes left. Anything else you want to mention that Pennsylvania, that you think will resonate with Pennsylvania voters that are going to see this tonight? 
You know, uh, what, what I'm seeing on the ground here is uh, a tremendous concern about where our country is headed, but also just a level of common sense and just practicality that I think points to uh, someone like Joe Biden, who, uh, after all, <laughs> started out in Pennsylvania, and it, and it shows. Uh, you know, he talks a lot about the Scranton mentality compared to the Park Avenue mentality of a president who uh, uh, was born to privilege and thinks he can just use people to get ahead. Um, the, the choice has never been clearer, and uh, it's so important that everybody get out and vote, especially in a state like Pennsylvania that really could decide the future of this country.